I've had a special request from a YouTube subscriber to show how to play a song of mine called So Good, which appeared on an album called P. Hux Deluxe. Uh, it goes like this for those of you who don't know it. That opening lick goes like this. It's basically just a fancy way of playing E, A, and D. That's kind of the concept, so it goes like this. I'm going to cover up A and D at the second fret. I'm going to have my pinky at D4. And we're just going to go... Okay, and then the pinky's going to take A4. And then I'm going to make an A chord. And I'm going to hit it beginning with the uh, A string. And I'm going to hit then G2 and D2 on the octave. Then I'm going to take my pinky and go... I'm going to hit A4 with my pinky and slide it up to A5. And then again hit G, D, and A. So it goes like this. goes A A over G sharp I'm not going to I'm not going to fuss with that and make that an E over G sharp because it's really just and then D to E repeat so then the chorus goes it's basically A D G to E, but I don't play it down here at the first position. I play it up here between the fifth and seventh fret, do a diagonal A chord like this. Instead of a full D, I just do an A sus. Then I do a G diagonal like that, still with the E ringing, and then I do a D shaped E chord here between fourth and fifth fret. So. C. And back to the first riff. Okay, and then the um, the bridge after the, out of the second chorus. fingers and then F9. I'm going to do a diagonal F and add the pinky to the third fret high string. And the bass is the coolest part on this bit so it goes I don't think I do that with him on the guitar. Maybe I should have. And then that part cascades into a little instrumental section before the solo. So it goes... that part and I uh, especially love it since I didn't write it. It um, uh, was written by my friend Lee Gildersleeve, a friend of mine from Chapel Hill who I was in a band called The Blazers. I was in a band called The Blazers with him and he had a piece of music he called, this is called Chopin's Hands. 
I don't even know if he remembers doing it, but I completely was mesmerized by it. So uh, here's how it goes. You take your middle finger to a uh, low string third fret. And then we're gonna hit the open A and the open D. And it's gonna be an eighth note pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so. And then the next pattern, the next. Add your index to A2 and your pinky to D4. Ah. I guess I'm going uh, consecutive there and then the E and the D string for the pattern. Yeah. Then the next chord is C, which you do by moving your these guys up one fret each. So you're at A3, D5, and open low E. And then slide your middle finger up to eight low string for the C note, and then grab E and A here at the seventh fret, A string, seventh fret, D string. And then another beautiful chord, we're gonna go to C sharp over E. Take your index to four A and your pinky to six D. change that to a G sharp. I'm going to take your middle finger to low string, uh, E string, fourth fret, index A3, pinky still at D6. Go back to the C sharp, and then go back to the G sharp, and make it a G sharp 7 at the end by bringing your ring finger to D4. So the whole thing is this. The solo that follows that, I just do the chorus chords, but this time I do them down at the first position, A, D, G, E. And then um, I don't think there's any more new parts that we haven't already covered for the rest of the song. It's either the chorus or the verse or the Chopin's hands part, that bit. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for asking for it. Come on,